Ricky loves his Pokemon. The audience is watching, bro. They'll report you. There you go, I see it, I see it! Yeah. It feels heavy as a mother. This is probably like loaded up. He's just a professional skater and a true gentleman from Florida. <laughs> Mr. Tyler, I sent you my list of NES games I needed. You said that you have two that I need. I got two. Okay. I'm buying NES games in probably the least expected place you guys would ever imagine today. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Let's go get it. I am going to OC Ramps right now. These are the guys who set up our ramp at SoCal, by the way. Super awesome guys. And I'm giving a gift to Tyler. I'm giving him a skateboard and some vintage plans uh, for a ramp. And he told me he has a couple NES games that I can buy out. So, um, gonna be wild and also this is like a big party night here Bam Margera is gonna be here tonight I hung out with him in Florida a few months ago so let's just go have a good time this is Tyler the hey, legend hey. What up? responsible for ramps and everything going on at SoCal and everything oh but no, Happy stoke kids in the back too. These are the workers. Oh, there you go. Keep them busy. Same thing I do with my kids. Are those your kiddos? They are my kids. Oh, beautiful dude. That is yeah. lovely family. Look at that well, before we get into the, the games that you have for me, I have two gifts for you that I wanted to give you. This has been lying around in my house for a few years now, and I've always wanted to have, give it a good home, so I know no, it'll do well. But... It's just a sick vintage, dude. Look at this, John. So I was like, I gotta toss it to you. That's pretty epic. Oh, and then so the good. most proper home for this ever, a fan of the show gave it to us, but I have to admit it'd be better in your place. You're it's, way too generous. It's a ramp blueprint from 1994. No way. So this is from Ramp Tech for a half pipe. Bro, hold on, look at my arm. I'm getting chilled, there you go, I see it, I see it. It's yeah. crazy, right? That's no, so, so if you right? open it, it will say 1994. I came to, I walked into an art. Check it, watch, pop that puppy open. There you go, 1994. Wow. So and this is all the print. I just thought Dude, it'd be much cooler in your home. We're gonna go to the swap meet super soon, but before then, we gotta take a peek at some of this warehouse. I mean, we're here. We gotta have a good time and enjoy ourselves. So skate culture is huge to me. My, my audience knows that as well. Show me kind of like in a brief, hello kiddos again. Show me in a brief, kind of like this whole business that you've built and what you do with it. So here we are at OC Ramps. We're in Orange County, California. I started the business in the driveway of my house in Huntington Beach about 20 plus years ago. So now we're the world's largest manufacturer for wooden ramp. Um, Congratulations, dude. That's, that's literally awesome. So this is my office. This is my inspiration. Obviously a little bit of Eddie. And then when I'm bored, we, we bring out the shred sticks yeah. and plug in and you know play a little metal, have some fun. Uh, here's our wonderful CNC logo wall. It took about six months to make. Uh, a few hundred pieces to cut individually. It was all programmed on a CNC machine. Oh. And cut one by one, sanded one by one, installed by me one by one. This is Rosie. Everyone Hello, say Rosie. Rosie. Say hi, internet world. <laughs> So what do we do every day here? Well, we cut, we drill, and on occasion we'll skate. Basically, think of us like the IKEA for skateboard ramps. So we're cutting and drilling, box it up, count the screws, and then we ship it all over the world. I love hearing how people started their business, especially something like this, something so epic, something so fun, something that most people would kill to be doing. This is beautiful. So we are celebrating Dalton and his brothers. They just got to 100K subscribers on Let's YouTube. Let's go, ah, brother! He's just a professional skater and a true gentleman from Florida. 
Heck yeah, bro. We got out Pit Viper. We got Monster Beast. Along with us, a Lost Cause Apparel and Sessions Deli. We'll go get some munchies a little bit later. like one of my most favorite things I could be doing right now and enjoying all this skateboarding is awesome but right now I want to go check out those NES games Tyler has for me. All right Mr. Tyler I sent you my list of NES games I needed you said that you have two that I need. I got two. Okay. So I got uh I got this guy here. Rad Gravity okay great I obviously don't have it. This one looked cool. So, well, you know, is that a, a dad joke right there? Because it's called hey, Kid Cool? The pun. So Kid Cool is a video game that's, well, it's kind of okay. So it was made by Vic Takai, a company that made games like Decap Attack and Psycho Fox. If you look at Kid Cool next to Psycho Fox, as pointed out by AVGN, they look almost exactly identical. Now, Kid Cool is kind of the same thing, but a much, much, much worse version. Is it a good game? Eh. Is it playable? Yeah, totally. Worth giving a try. There are two games that I needed. Curtis, catch it, hold them for me. That, I think that puts me at like 491. Dude, that's like the borderline, and jeez. Yes, a little later, we're gonna be hosting a skate contest, a couple. Um, up there is our mini ramp stage. I built that with the idea that when we hosted events, I wanted bands to perform up there. And, and it's gonna that, happen. That's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Tonight. So you stick around, you watch tonight. Why aren't you up there, bro? Yeah, yeah. I'm not talented like that. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> we got another skate contest going on this uh, beautiful setup. So we're in for a wild night. Let's go. We're glad you're here. Bam Margera never showed up. Now, not gonna talk bad or anything, but it kind of as expected. It's a 50-50 chance if he says he's gonna come, we'll be there. Again, not talking bad. I just know he's going through some stuff in his life. Tyler and OC Ramps is such a cool dude and such a cool place. If you guys want to do me a huge favor, if I see that his last video, whenever this video goes out, whatever OC Ramps last video is, if we can get them, let's say a hundred comments that say Pixel Game Squad sent me, or if we can get them 500 new subscribers from when this video launches, like within a week, I'll do an epic giveaway for you guys. I know they'll be pitching in too and do some cool stuff. If we can get them about 500 subscribers or a hundred comments in their last video saying Pixel Game Squad sent me, let's do something wild with a giveaway for you all. All right. At the swap meet and Curtis and I just got a decent amount of stuff. Uh, normally I don't pick up Hot Wheels type stuff, but this is actually worth some pretty decent money and pretty cool. It's like a Star Wars, a little bit more of a high-end line right here. You got the TIE Fighter. Then I got this, my son's really into these, like the Lego car sets. This is a 007 Aston Martin, super cool. This was awesome, the Iron Maiden doll. I got all this for 40 bucks, so actually a really good deal. This thing alone is super awesome. I'll see if Gabo has any interest in this, by the way. And then one game that I was shocked I didn't have. It was just sitting there, and it's a game that is super infamous in the NES world. So the fact that we're this far deep and didn't even have it was crazy. Also, I had no idea Dr. Jekyll and Hyde is like a $20 game. 
game now. That is, I did not know that. That's insane to me. But that does put us at 493 NES games on the count. Look at this, just sitting on the table. A PS3? Golga said he would do it for 80 bucks. Obviously, you never know if it works, but I got a couple Dick Tracy dolls right here as well. Both with tag. But then this kind of caught my eye. This like dead stock, but beat up, breaking the law, uh, Beavis and Butthead right here with like the original seal. Hmm, I think that's something I'm interested in. Let me make this my whole bundle already. So, pretty fun little haul I just got. Whose car is this? Uh, that's uh, Chris's or Blake's. Oh, okay. I got my Dick Tracy dolls. The one I thought was really cool was this 101 Dalmatians dead stock hat. Then I got the Beatles anthology on VHS sealed. I've picked these up before in the past and uh, Ricky and I have actually watched this all the way through. And you know how long this is. And the PS3 big box uh, that Curtis is holding right here. Really clean, I opened it up and it's like, and still it's like it's plastic wrap. Looks like it's been used, but really well taken care of. All for 140 bucks. No, he went down to 130. So really good deal on that. Golga is always a homie. So that's why we say build relationships, pay kind of what they ask, bargain a little and then you'll get the good stuff, so let's go. Tons of PS3 games here. I already looked through it and I, I, actually, wait, just kidding. Don't wanna miss this one, God of War. And then some other decent ones in here that I'll probably dig through again. I need to look better. I actually grabbed a ton of uh, DVDs and Blu-ray as well. God of War, The Incredibles Big Box, Boys in the Hood sealed, Halloween sealed, Fresh Prince sealed, Fresh Prince sealed. Uh, another Boys in the Hood Blu-ray, Saw sealed, uh, Christmas Story. American Psycho, Independence Day, yeah, and Space Jam. And that hand seems dirty for some reason. I wonder where that hand's been. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. So I got them all, and now I have to start sliding them in a position where I have some room. I am pulling up the cart quick. Also, I found this randomly at the table, and didn't think it was much of anything, but he kind of just threw it in, so that's cool. And then all the other stuff, it's all there, everything I showed you earlier. Today is just all straight to business. It's one of those days, again, where everybody has stuff. I mean, you can see everybody's digging, Curtis is swigging. Ben's bopping, Roscoe's ripping, Chris's carton, I don't know what that means. Uh, I found this, this, the Gargoyles board game, which I've never seen before. And then even the plug and plays, look at this, are just sitting here on the table, the Pac-Man and the Super Pac-Man. So I'm gonna see how much for all this. And again, I'm trying not to film people when I ask prices, but I'm gonna keep looking around for a minute. Christo is looking at the Bratz TV. I've never seen this one before. Bratz, as you know, is very collectible these days, and plus like all like the Mickey Mouse, the SpongeBob, any TVs like that are all, this actually, I'll be honest with you guys, the last one sold for 300 plus $100 shipping. I even had the remote with it on those ones. I don't know. the hardest part to find. Yeah, always the remote's the hardest part to find with it, so it's the matching remote. I don't know, man. I've sold them a bunch before, not this one specifically, but, but like those kind of TVs do. And by the way, I did buy all of that Pac-Man stuff and Gargoyle stuff, and Ricky didn't even mention it, little Sly Dog got Mario Party 8 and Super Mario Galaxy and a bunch of discs right here, so, and that loud thing that's walking by. And Ricky is gonna start working out, apparently. Well, well, well. <laughs> Look what he just bought. I'm a huge Bratz fan. That's oh, awesome. Well, this is my favorite Brat right here. Do we know the name of any of these Brats? I'm gonna guess no like clue. Valerie and Vicky. <laughs> that, that, dude, that is like the Valley Girl <laughs> Brat name right there if I ever met it. You play Bratz DVDs. You would you're... think those were like stickers, but that's actually part of it. I that's just imagine Chris stuff. going home and just watching pure smut on this. All <laughs> 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 well, he's listening on <laughs> Henry was holding out on me over here. What the heck? Okay, Street Fighter, Lego Worlds, all decent, 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 decent. Okay, and then these are sick. These are sick. The architecture, the bonsai tree, more architecture. More Legos over here, okay. Let's, uh, let's take a peek. So a lot of Lego fans, huh? A lot of video game related stuff on this table. Jeez, look at the, the Commodore. Giant floppy disk on this one. Dude, that this is way. a back huge drive. And the Commodore in the box, dude. Look at the old tag on it. Does it say 300? That might actually. That might be. It feels heavy as a mother. This is probably like loaded up 
to the brim. NES controllers, I saw some NES games over there, but I don't want to peek yet, so. Oh, you all right? Guys? We'll see. Oh, bless me mucho, bro. All right, check it out. So before I go into the Commodore stuff, NES games, my millionth copy of RC Pro-Am, Helamides, two that I don't have the set, Sky Kid. That's the most boring label ever. Do you, have you played the game? No. It's really fun. It's it's okay. not like a Tetris, but it's like a top-down Tetris. Same view, but you shoot up blocks instead. Oh, okay. They shoot at you. Nice. And then Sky Kid is like a super cute em up game by Sunsoft. Not typically what you would expect from a Sunsoft game. Most of the Sunsoft games I feel like are much better. Sky Kid's fine at best. But it adds two to the count, but check this out. So when I got the Commodore, what I didn't know when I got it, what'd you say? So when I opened it up, it's filled with games. That is awesome. And then Chris said he already knew this game is like 40 bucks in itself. Yeah, never seen that one. Just this game, but check this out. Sork with manual, you got Dig Dug, you got Donkey Kong, but what Ricky's holding, look, you got it like the surfer floppy disk for Commodore 64. Look this one. Beachhead. Night games. It's a test demo, so who knows? Test demo. Another demo, Tomcat. Look at the paper boy. That's a sick one. Boy. Look demos at this. Can be really good. Demos can be good. Look at the custom double dragon. Uh, it's someone's <laughs> own custom. Now I wonder if this is an official double dragon, but they put their own label on it. I don't know. Maybe. I honestly want to play that. I don't know what it was like. Dude, the this <laughs> is. I thought this was a really cool purchase right here. And even after I left. He walked over and he's like, oh, by the way, it does come with the thing Ricky was playing with, the floppy drive. So I was like, okay, I feel good about it, 140. Um, that's kind of what the Commodore would go for in really good shape. So I was like, I'm taking a risk with the games, but it ended up being extremely worth it. I'm more alive than ever before. I'm to my Commodore Four. My friends are knocking down my door to get into my Commodore 64. It's mind boggling. Commodore 64 lets you play hundreds more games than any video machine, plus draw, program, even do music. Those games put us at 490. We are five away from 500 NES games. We were just looking at gameplay, and what did you say, Ricky, about them? Dude, let me buy it. It's like a brown Bimmy and Jimmy. Dang, bro, Mexican yeah. Double Dragon. How cool is that? They're, wait, Let's the go. goal of the game is to get that guy's bike. Oh no! <laughs> look, man, check out. So first of all, yes, I literally brought a pair of vintage short shorts. Nobody cool. judge me. Nice. But look, it's the Happy Meal dinosaurs, but it's Whoa. every single one of the family members. So this is like late 90s or mid 90s? It's like just 90s straight up. Look at Sweet. that. But it's every single one of the original Dang. characters. There you go. Collect them all. Gotta collect them all. I feel good about it. I love the dinosaur show, dude. It's one of my favorite freaking shows. Heck yeah. And then Curtis, Bro, why don't you like fighting? I don't get it. <laughs> UFC 44, man. Let me Very tell you early. if I know either of these people. Actually, I've heard both the names. Randy Couture and Tito, they were like the Bro, guys in that one band. Literally, uh, your son does jiu-jitsu. You definitely know fighting. Bro, my son could beat you up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and me too, to be honest. Yeah. And then the homie just came over with the scuzziest Nintendo I've seen in a long time. Do I need any of these? I don't know, I don't think so. Nice, dude, but holy cow. This was sitting in uh, the basement for 700 years on that one. <laughs> but what's funny about Nintendo too is I can guarantee that that will all clean up pretty nicely. Oh, yeah. Nintendos are weird like that. You can get them to look pretty pretty. Look at this meta bots, but even cooler, Pokemon Power Zone DVD. And then I am loving these Chinese old Disney movies. They're so cool in Chinese like this. I don't know why, just the fact that I've never seen them looking like this. I'll have to buy all these. So by the end of the video, what I want to do, Ben, at the end of the video is I'm going to go through and price out. I'm so curious. It's been in my head, the price of all those Commodore games. Yeah, for sure. I'm very curious on some of them. So out, by the end of the video, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, the Genesis inside. And it's a Model 2. Dang. Get waxed, dude. Get waxed. Oh, the box is nice. I mean, you know. Nice. How much you want for it like that? Ricky just bought a stack of sheets, like dead stock Pokemon sheets. Those are really clean, by the way. Those are nice. Yeah. No, it's like. Yeah. Ricky loves his Pokemon. I do like my Pokemon. He's still trying to work out a deal on that Saturn box over there. Chris, you peddling smut over here still? Yeah, I'm just smugging it up. Dang, you are just a smut guy. I just bought these. I got all these just now. Mario Kart, Wii Sports Resort. Help me flip through. My hands are full. Japanese one. Fries, for chain. But Ooh. that's actually not that one in there. But it's still a good game. Check it out. Third Strike. Oh, Third Strike is probably the best one. So there you go. All for 50 bucks. Yeah. So yeah, not bad. I feel good. And you're still just smutting. Just 
Smart. We call Chris hunting buying boobs. <laughs> Al, what's up, bro? You want fight? No. The audience is watching, bro. They'll report you. <laughs> What'd you just buy? I don't even know. They're around like 50 bucks a piece. They're, what? They're actually not. They're like light smut. So they're like more like <laughs> You know, I was just kidding when I said smut, but now you're confirming that you did just buy smut. I did. You know, we have children that watch our show and I'm talking about Blake. Oh, I didn't even have room in my cart. I can't believe I got all this. That's a great deal for these. I feel good about this. I'm going to stick them in Ricky's cart though, because I am running hard out of room right now. That's Ricky's cart. This is mine. Oh, I did get NES games earlier. Hold on, hold on. Pause, pause, pause. I completely forgot. Where are they? Curtis got Pajama Sam and he's very excited. Dude, I don't get hit with the nostalgia a lot. This definitely hits it. That one hit you? Yes, dude. I was like, Pajama Sam! Check these out, Curtis. Check doesn't these hit, out right doesn't, here. Doesn't hit me with nostalgia. <laughs> Check out these, dude. All three? Um, I needed all three, so Immortal, Punisher. I'm not, well, I can't lie. That one's Punisher I got from Curtis, that's why he's joking. That one's clean, dude. Have you seen what Death Race is, the video game? You are literally 8-bit and you're running around town killing people, running people over. Like it's like it's like GTA, and obviously it's not officially licensed. I did get this one from Curtis I, right I here. Know that one, but the guy he sold that one to me. Jason. And then Immortal uh, AVGN did a whole video on this, like a like a big long like home, very artistic review on this. So it was super awesome. Of the games, the best game by far is Punisher. It's a super fun game. It's an LJN game too, which most people don't really think talk about LGN when they're talking about Punisher, but it is. But Death Race is also worth playing as well. Mortal's not my thing, but super awesome. Ricky, we desperately need to find two more games, Ricky. We desperately need to find two more games two for more the games collection. Today? Because look at what we're at right now. Oh, 498 dude. NES games. Blood pressure? How's it going? 80 over 5. <laughs> what does that mean? Is that a thing? Dying. No, I mean that <laughs> All right, probably my favorite thing that I bought today from this beautiful no, sir, from this beautiful man. Hey, what? Visiting Club del Norte in Facebook. He said visit Club North in Facebook. On Facebook? Thing. Club, Club North? North? Uh, Club del Norte. Is that your Club. channel, Henry? Club del Norte. Okay, you're gonna have to help me. Jared's gonna put it on the screen. Show me, yeah, show me, show me, show me. I bought this for my dad, guys. This is heavy. This is on a heavy piece of rock. I mean, it is. Curse, have you lifted that yet? No, but Give you it to him. hit me in my face with it. My dad collects tombstone stuff and I always collect it for him. No, I would, I would, that would shatter. Beautiful <laughs> Val dope. Kilmer, Doc yeah. Holiday, Tombstone, Dude, looking beautiful. All right, you guys, he was helping me out. Go follow him. I told him that was, I'll send you guys over. He's one of our, our, our vendors we buy from every week. So many things got bought today in such a quick time. I feel like I didn't even have time to really breathe. We just kept buying and finding things. But right now I want to dive into the Commodore 64 stuff. I want to see what some of these games were worth and some of the gameplay even because a lot of this stuff was so foreign to me. I just took a risk, but I have a really good feeling about these. said that I got these puppies on the way out. Uh, Nintendo Fun Club News. Uh, these are some of the best looking covers with the Nintendo type stuff. From the Zelda cover to the RC Pro-Am cover. I know there's a Mike Tyson's one. The sports one, even though I'm not a sports guy, look at that right there. That's awesome actually with the NES Advantage and then another RC Pro-Am right there and some of these guys as well. I'm gonna get all my stuff cleaned up and then I'm gonna dive into what the value of that Commodore lot was and see if there's any standouts because that was a complete risk at 150 bucks. So let's see. So you guys saw me pick this up earlier on in the video and I didn't even really get to take a peek but it looks like everything's in here. Now is, here, now, now is the time to see if my risk paid off or if not, I'm gonna go hook it up later but at least I wanna turn it on for you guys and see if it turns on whether it's a dud or we did good, about to find out. Gents, I'll be happy if we at least get power. Okay, I see power. Okay, turned on nicely. I'm not gonna test it in front of you guys. No weird noises, anything like that. No game inside, dang, I always hope for a game. But honestly, like near mint condition. I have no doubts this will probably end up working. Actually, I'll try it out later and I'll have Jared put it on the screen uh, right now if it works. 
All right, Commodore 64 time. What are you hiding for me? I'm sure hoping that there's some good stuff in here. I have faith. When I saw all the weird random stuff, I was like, I have a good feeling about this. Anytime you open up stuff and you're with a bunch of gamers and everybody's like, don't know that game, don't know that game, don't know that game. Uh, hopefully there's some good stuff in here. Guys, I found more games hidden in here that I didn't even know were in there, right here. So I gotta go through them. Uh, and guys, this is like, I don't know if this has been really touched. This looks like collector style Commodore. Well, I'm hyped. Okay, I try not to keep my stuff on the floor. I know y'all get mad at me, but I promise you I just swept and cleaned this floor. Almost all of these have manuals with them. I'm gonna go through them in more detail. This didn't have the game or this one. Dang it. But there's so many good items, y'all. I'm gonna start digging through and letting you know kind of some of the value, but good grief. I mean, even just look at that. That's so pretty. Rack them up, the one that Chris said was worth good money. I'm pulling it over as we speak. Had the manual with it, but man, some of these beautiful art arts on it. Look at the gateway to, I guess, Appsfy, Appsfy, beautiful, beautiful art. I admire that so much. Ooh, with that music and the Zelda background back there, that just feels right. So, um, that was a task and uh, kind of crazy. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of surprise things. First of all, the biggest surprise is Commodore 64s, when they have the cables, sell for way more money. That's like what solds go for in the box because it has cables. They go up drastically with cables. Guys, Donkey Kong sells for about 50 to 60 like that. Um, what's another good one right here? Uh, this Gateway one, about 30 bucks. Uh, this Battle Zone sells for 30 with no manual. I have the manual. Guys, rack them up. About $60 sells for game only. Only, I have the manual for, I just put probably an extra 10 is what I think. Uh, Paperboy, 30. Guys, this alone sells for parts alone, 50. It could work like a charm, I don't know. Uh, the Surfer game, super uncommon. There's a Street Surfer one that's very common, but Surfer is about $50. And here's one, guys, that I cannot find. I wrote rare because as of right now, it's rare. I have friends looking for me. You can find F14 Tomcat video games for Commodore 64, but they have the branding on here. They have the logo. This says demo on it, just like this says test and demo. Uh, recently, my buddy Chris from the podcast, you all know, got some like demo test stuff uh, for Tandy Cabs and they sold for... I gotta press pause really quick right here to tell you guys about our longest running sponsor, Squarespace. I love their videos collection. You can upload video content, organize your video library, and showcase your content in beautiful video pages for their online stores. Sell your products and services with an online store. Whether you sell physical goods, digital content, or services, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. I love me some analytics, and with Squarespace, you can measure your end-to-end -end online performance with powerful website and seller analytics, get insights on top traffic sources, understand how your reach is growing, and learn where to focus new engagement. It's all the data you need to scale your brand or business, fully integrated and clearly displayed. Head down to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pixelgamesquad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Crap ton of money, I think like $5,000. Not just one thing, multiple items. But so you never know with stuff like this, I have some people looking into it for me. But guys, with all of this, oh and I didn't add anything for that. And I didn't add any money for these yet either because I don't know. This one, I'll just, you know, see what happens. But all of this I paid $150 for, $150 total value without the F14 Tomcat and the Double Dragon one, even though it may be, I don't know, real, oh, it's probably burned. $821 is what this lot's worth. Take a risk, people. Take a risk.